Hello, and uh, welcome back to another Fortnite creative tutorial. This creative tutorial we are going to be talking about and teaching you how to use the Advanced Storm Controller and the Advanced Storm Beacon. And we also got a guest that is probably just going to be the comedy guy, but he'll also Correct. help out. I really want to chug chug with you. All right, all right. That so... was my first bit. Oh, 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 what happened? Look at my arm. Equip a chug jug and fly around. It breaks your arm. So here is your advanced <laughs> storm controller. It's cursed. And you got generate storm on game start, which is quite literally what it says. Storm phases. Uh, which storm phases your default or your battle, no, battle royale default storm and then custom is how you can customize it uh, for this tutorial I'm going to be doing custom when you do default you don't need to touch anything else on here but <clears throat> phase one radius it says phase one but it really is not the phase one it's actually the initial storm radius so we can have it at 50 meters and the one important thing you should know is you got two lines you got a purple and a red and I'll go more detail about that later you got your delay time which is the time it went which is the time the storm will generate Whenever the game starts, you got unfinished behavior. You got stay and destroy within a certain amount of time. And this uh, for this tutorial, I'm just gonna do stay. Now you, and you you got bound radius. Whenever you are <laughs> making a custom storm, and you want it to be completely random. Or if you use the cut, or if you use the default, this will keep <coughs> it. This will keep the storm within a certain boundary. Boundary, and with this red line, this see the red line is your boundary, and in in your boundary line, it will make the storm. It will make the storm the center of the storm anywhere within this red area. So that was the advanced storm controller, but you also got generate storm, destroy storm, and when phase ends. Now you got your advanced storm beacon. This is where your custom storm comes into play. Now the way you use this to make custom storms, if you want to make multiple phases, is you got your phases here. You can have up to 50, 50 phases. So you can go wild with this. But you'll want to start with phase 1. And then the end radius. Which is the end of that phase. So let's say we want it to be 20 meters. And then the wait time is... The wait time is the time between phase 1 and 2. And then your resize time is how long it takes for it to resize. And you've also got your damage, which we'll just leave it at 1% for now. You got move to beacon, which will which will show as <coughs> where the center of the storm is on this beacon. Or you got move randomly. For the tutorial, I'm going to do move to beacon. But whenever you do move randomly, this is how you change up the move distance. But for now, I'll just do move to beacon. You pretty much just after you've on that you can pretty much just copy and paste it but every but you want to go ahead and make as much phases as you want <laughs> and
anyway. <laughs> you didn't even see the best part. <laughs> I must go. That wasn't even the best part. My original plan was to get you to look over here and then. Uh, I don't know what my original plan was. All I know is I was gonna do this. I must go now. My people need. So that's pretty much how we use the advanced <laughs> store. But we're gonna go ahead and te test it before we. <coughs> Just in case if we even I because I even I am able to mess up sometimes. So you definitely want to. Oh, oh no, that's a storm. Up. Anyways, so as you can see, the storm is moving to what you desired. Or, yeah. So that's pretty much how you use uh, an advanced storm beacon. Oh no, it appears I have trapped myself. Not like it matters, we're gonna die anyway. Storm shield's too small. And just like how I'm going... And I'm <coughs> gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do this with every creative tutorial. But I'm gonna create a small mini-game with... I'm My gonna go ahead and go. create there a small mini-game with the... With what I just taught. I must go now. My people need me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyways, time lapse. All right. So it's not gonna be. It's not very detailed, but this is the map that we made, and I just used the prison prefab, and then just worked on it from there. <coughs> It's not supposed to be detailed, it is just supposed to be uh, an example of what you can make with the with the knowledge of these. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you do find if something is wrong about it, let me know because even I do make ex I even make mistakes oh, myself that sometimes. Hurt. It's not as it's not as rare to make shift shotgun. It's really down easy now. to make mistakes with the advanced storm beacon. I messed up. I'm gonna die. It's really easy to mess up with the advanced storm beacon. So oh, I, I respawn. That's so nice. Even I could have done something wrong. See what I mean? This thing is awesome. So let me know if you want any want to see any more tutorials. And I will try to And I will try to do that for you. Um, I hope you... Yeah, I hope you found this tutorial helpful, and, uh... See ya!